Okay, hi, I'm Mike. I'm a repair technician at Mazur Enterprises, and today we're going to show you how to disassemble an electric water pump center section for replacement. We're going to start with a 532nd Allen wrench and remove eight screws that hold the water pump to the main body. We'll start with the top ones. You're going to back out all four. Okay, and then we're going to remove the four bottom ones. They're 1024 by a half inch. Now I might note we have two different pumps here. This is a standard flow pump, our 35 gallons per minute unit and a 55 gallons per minute unit. And there's a slight difference in the procedure and we'll talk about it as the video goes along here. Okay. Now you want to keep the upper screws in the pump in the center section because the cap and the magnet ring are oriented to each other. So the next thing we're going to do is grab a screwdriver. And there's a little indent on the body of the pump and this allows you to pry up very carefully on the center section to remove it. There we go. A little more. There we go. And now the pump is removed with the gasket. Okay. Now that we have the center section removed, now we need to clean the area that the pump and center section mate together. We need to clean the gasket off. We use a, a scraper. So very carefully scrape the excess gasket material off. So now what I like to do is take a rag and uh, we use brake flush. Any kind of cleaner like that should work and clean the area here where the gasket was of any material that's left over. That's pretty good and flat and clean. So now we're ready to prep up a gasket to reinstall the center section. Okay, before we put the pump back together we wanted to explain the differences between the high flow and the standard flow version of the pumps. Basically they both have four screws. However, on a high flow pump, there's a larger impeller cavity and because of that there's actually only two assembly screws that go into the body. The other two actually go through the magnet housing into the front plate only and they hold the assembly together that way. So on a standard flow, there is all four screws. So that's really the difference between the two. Okay, next we're going to want to prepare the gasket before assembly and we use a GM gasket sealing compound. It comes with an applicator, so we're going to pull it out and uh, lightly tack on some gasket sealing compound. All the way around. Then you want to flip it over because you want to get both sides. Also if you can let this stuff sit uh, for a good period of time, like an hour. If you have time, it, it actually works a lot better if it has a chance to soak into the gasket material. Okay, we have the gasket prepped up now, and so we're going to line it up on the body of the pump over the holes, over the threaded holes for all the screws. And then we're going to take the center section, and again, be careful not to remove the screws or change the orientation of the cap or magnet, because that will change the rotation of the impeller rotation. And this is a very directional impeller, so if it's rotated wrong, it'll, it won't flow very well at all. So we'll take some Loctite, we, and you want to put just a light amount on the threads of each screw. And then you want the electrical connector facing the inlet side of the pump, which is on the bottom, and just line the pump with all the four, the eight holes rather, like so. And then start the first four screws. Once you get them started, you can take the small screws, the 1024 by half, and do the same thing. Make sure you get a fairly generous amount on these threads um, so there's no leakage. Okay, once you have the screws snug all the way down, I like to give them about another quarter of a turn just when they start snugging. Okay, one thing we highly recommend you do before you actually install your pump on your vehicle is to make sure that the correct rotation of the pump is happening. So there's a plastic inspection plug at the top of the pump. You can remove that and you can see down inside to the main shaft of the pump. Plug in some electrical to it and it'll spin and you can actually observe the rotation. From the front, it should be spinning clockwise. That's the direction of the rotation that's proper. That way you have a good, good flow. In review, these are the parts and equipment needed to change out the center section. You'll need a flathead screwdriver, a 532nd T-handle, a scraper, some Loctite, and some brake flush to clean. 
Uh, we hope that this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can call our technical support department and they'll help you from there.